Hello, friends. We have covered that solar system is consisting of the sun, planets, moons, asteroids, meteors, and meteorites. And our solar system is belonging to the galaxy of Milky Way. Concerning to our planet Earth, planet Earth, its order is considered as the third planet away from the sun. The distance or the average distance between the sun and planet Earth can be represented by 150 million kilometers from the Earth's surface to the sun. You know that Earth is a planet, it revolves at the other planets around the sun once every 365 and quarter a day. The shape of planet Earth is spherical with slight flattened at its two poles, and indented at the equator. Equator يعني عند خط الاستواء يكون flattened الفلطحة كده عند التو بوز قطب الشمال والجنوبي وإندنتد إذا ما تقولوا في الدراسات كده at the, the equator طيب uh, Tropical radius اللي هو القطر كده increases about 22 kilometers than the polar radius Tropical radius Lower the Nahatil two poles, we could increase about 22 kilometers after minimal radius and the equator. One talking about radius, one talking about diameter. Planet Earth, they may represented the third planet away from the sun. It also represented the fourth planet according to the other planets. The Nisbal volume. In distance, the third one, the volume of the fourth one. An average radius, average radius of the Earth represented by 6,368 kilometers. This is the average radius of Earth. But its mass equals 5.9 by 10 to the power of 24 kilograms. This is a huge size, of course. And don't ever forget that planet Earth is considered from the inner planets, which are considered smaller inside than the outer planets. Okay. What makes planet Earth is suitable for living? Why do we survive on planet Earth? Because Earth is characterized by some characteristics which allow us to uh, stay alive on Earth and continue to fly on planet Earth. خلي بالكم يا أولاد في حاجة مهمة جدا because planet Earth is surrounded by an atmospheric envelope or atmosphere and you know very well from the last year that atmosphere is a layer of different gases surrounding the Earth. Of course, these gases are kept around the Earth due to the Earth's gravity. So, even gravity of Earth affecting on the atmospheric envelope to keep the, envelope, the atmospheric envelope around the Earth, and the atmospheric envelope or the atmosphere can be represented by a mixture of different gases surrounding Earth. What about the components of this atmospheric air or atmospheric envelope as you have studied last year? Number one, oxygen gas represents 21% or one over five, the volume of air, the volume of air, not earth. It's important for respiration process and helps in combustion or burning. Nitrogen is the most abundant gas because it represents 78% or four over five from the volume of the atmosphere. Nitrogen gas doesn't help in burning, so it reduces or decreases the effect of oxygen burning. That's why God created nitrogen in great percentage more than oxygen gas. Nitrogen 
also used by plants to make proteins. Carbon dioxide represents very small quantity, very small ratio. It represents 0.03% used by plants to make photosynthesis process uh, and give out oxygen gas. Of course, the plants themselves are responsible to take carbon dioxide from the air and give out oxygen gas to replace carbon dioxide. Ozone layer is a layer of gas called ozone gas. This ozone gas plays very important role to protect Earth from dangerous radiation coming from the sun, such as the ultraviolet rays. Ultraviolet rays have very dangerous side effects causing skin cancer. Also, the atmospheric envelope contains water vapor and its percentage is not constant is not stable because it is changeable. Changeable means it can be changed from one place to another, from environment to another. Last, other gases are found in the atmosphere with very little percentage. Number one, suitable atmosphere. Number two, اه هنا في حاجة تانية برضو يا أولاد ال 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 great extension of the atmosphere help us to <coughs> burn the meteors which are appearing in the sky in the form of shooting stars flash of light كده in the sky this is because of the great extension of the atmosphere it helps this great extension of the atmosphere and burning the meteors completely before reaching the earth. Also, it reduces the speed of the meteorites and burns part of them before reaching the earth's surface. Weather and climate, you have studied them in the social studies. Weather and climate. Weather and climate. climate and climate. There are two phenomena which help to complete the water cycle, such as wind movement, clouds formation, rain falling, suitable temperature. Number two, Earth is hydrosphere. Hydrosphere means water. Atmosphere means gases. Hydrosphere means water, but atmosphere means gases. The hydrosphere of the Earth you know very well that uh, water covered a uh, large surface area of Earth. It maybe represents about approximate 71% of the Earth's surface and 21% on land. The Earth can be divided into two different percentages, water and land. Water represents approximately 71%, but the land represents 21%. Water appears in blue color on the Earth's surface. And the percentage of water can be subdivided into two main percentages. 97% of 71% of water considered as salty water, as seas and oceans. But just 3% of fresh water represented by rivers, mines, and underground water. What is the importance of water? Why the water is very important? Because plants use water to make photosynthesis process and to give us food and oxygen. Also, it is needed by us, needed by human because water helps in the digestion process and absorption process. Because water shares in the blood formation. Because water keeps the body temperature constant or steady. And it keeps also the temperature in proper limit. Doesn't exceed the suitable and the normal temperature. Even if the weather changes day and, time, day and night, also, water is a good solvent and suitable for the environment 
where more than 50% of living organisms can survive in the aquatic environment. In the aquatic, can you may? The seas, or oceans, or rivers, or mines, and so on. Number three, suitable temperature. From the conditions, from the conditions which make life is suitable on planet Earth, suitable hydrosphere and suitable atmosphere. Number three, suitable temperature. Of course, Earth is the third planet away from the sun. And that makes the temperature is moderate. Moderate, yani mu'tadil, during the daytime and during the nighttime. Also from the conditions, from the features, from the properties which allow us to survive on planet Earth, gravity, of course, the gravity, helps us to stay alive on planet Earth. Without gravity, we would be like a feather is flying in the atmospheric envelope, in the atmosphere. But actually, gravity helps us to sit down, to stand, to go upstairs, to go downstairs, or even to sleep. Gravitational force, as you have studied in the last or in the previous unit, was discovered by Isaac Newton, the scientist Isaac Newton. Uh, the Earth's gravity makes uh, the objects resist and constant. Resist and calm. Constant and stable. Stable is constant. And constancy, the constancy, the steadfastness, the constancy, the objects to the absence or the presence of the uh, gravity, it makes you able to sit down properly on a chair. It makes you able to sleep or to lay your body on the bed. It makes you able to play whatever you want without falling down properly, without flying away from the Earth's surface. This is done because of the Earth's gravity. Of course, the, uh, the, the gravity or the steadfastness or keeping the hydrosphere around the Earth. And if there is or there are shortage of water in such area, we will suffer from dehydration, especially in old ages. Uh, also keeping the atmosphere around the Earth. You know very well that the Earth planet surrounded by atmospheric envelope. And this atmospheric envelope is kept around the Earth because of the Earth's gravity. Even the droplets of rain, rain falling down from the high altitudes to us because of the Earth's gravity. Number five, suitable atmospheric pressure. Atmospheric pressure with Dr. Gawi. The normal atmospheric pressure equals 76 centimeter per mercury. That keeps the temperature or that keeps the life on planet Earth is suitable to stay alive and continue our life on it. Layers of planet Earth. There's cool on the planet Earth. Uh, the, the Earth is divided into three layers three layers. Number one, Earth's crust. Number two, mantle, the middle layer. Number three, core, the elbow of the Earth's You have Earth's crust, mantle, core. Earth's crust, mantle, core. Type. The Earth's crust, uh, uh, it's very light because it has low density. I mentioned. What about the nature of the Earth's crust? The nature of Earth's crust, its thickness ranges between 8 to 50 kilometers. The thickness only, thick soil stomach, ranges between 8 to 50 or 60 kilometers. Mantle, rocky layer, its thickness about 2,885 kilometers. 2,885 kilometers. What about the core? It is the innermost layer of planet Earth. 
and it consists of two layers, outer core and inner core. The outer core found in the form of molten metal. But the inner core found in the form of solid layer due to the high pressure. Both of the outer and the inner core are consistent of iron and nickel. The iron and nickel are found inside the center of the inner core because they are heavy, metallic, so they have high density. What about the thickness of both? Thickness of outer core, 2,100 kilometers thickness but the thickness in the outer core in the inner core is about 1350 kilometers that was the last point in lesson two so happy for being you today have a nice time stay at home don't ever present in crowded places. Don't ever leave your mask. God bless all of you. Thank you very much for watching.